<laughs> Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. How y'all doing? I hope everybody's having a great, fantastic Saturday. Good morning, good evening, good night. Oh man, we got Pro G versus Unity coming in today. Um, we got playoff implications on the line, ladies and gentlemen. If you haven't been looking at the um, how everything's been going, we do got playoff implications on the line, and everything's going everything's going for big things. Um, we'll go ahead and take a look at the quick bracket real quick we'll go ahead and take another bracket but yeah you know the standings real quick to see how everything is and as you see um pro g and unity in second place fighting over second place technically pro g guess it get, i guess got the head right now this can make or break these teams when it comes to swc um we have we have two one, two of the top teams up here up here in the open brackets for group one at least. As you know, Sig Tech and Cog got their spot pretty much locked up into the top number one spot while you got Pro G Unity fighting to get into the brackets. If you we could take a look at the brackets real quick. You look at the brackets, you know, everything's still to be determined, but only four teams get in. So two teams from group one and two, two teams from group two. So we'll see how everything plays out when it comes to this match. Both teams are going to have to be pretty aggressive, I want to say, but both teams know that this is a must win for them regardless of what happens. So... Good luck to both teams out here as we as we wait for the match to begin. Uh, while we're waiting for the match to begin, we can go ahead and look at the group two and see how everything is looking out uh, looking out over there. As you see in group two over here, as you look in group two over here, you see tactically adequate at the top of the leaderboard with twelve with twelve points four and four and zero straight out. You got Fear Academy with nine points and TLR plus Guardians with nine points, but you also got BGK or Big Gucci Killers with nine points also. Uh TLR and Big Gucci are tied at three and two, while Fear Academy is at three and one at this moment at this moment of time. So we'll see how everything plays out. We'll, we'll see how everything plays out with group two as they as I believe technically adequate plays fear. As I believe tactically adequate place Fear Academy tomorrow tomorrow, I do believe if I am certain on that, which I do believe I am certain. Um and it's gonna be interesting to see how exactly that actually goes. To see how is how that match plays out and how the brackets are gonna play. This is really anybody's um game at this moment in time, to tell you the truth. As you look as we look at the Second, as we look at the Ugly Adequates versus Fear Academy um, schedule, so that, like I said, they do play. They do play tomorrow at this. They do play tomorrow, so it's like a going to be a great aspect and a great game to this. So, so I'm wondering how everything's gonna play out. Play out into this match as we move in as we start moving along into it game's about to start soon game's about to start soon we had to do another we had to do another rollover and then the game is going to start so as we look into as we look into these as we look into this match unity unity and pro g have been do have been doing pretty well for themselves as you as you can see, as you can probably as you probably seen on the screen. Oh no, no you don't. Now you do. As you see on the screen, Unity and Proji have been doing pretty well for themselves. Got some got some good key win got some good key wins out here against uh, NG and 508, 508 one shot theory and BRA. As you notice, they they split a match between Sig Tech and Cog. But Sig Tech and Cog a little bit on power them with tickets and are ahead, are ahead when it comes to the head to head. But at the same time, Unity on the same time, they're two and zero on their they're two and zero. They went two and zero against One Shot Theory, one and one against Sig Tech and Cog. Unity, it's NG versus Five Away Prior. So they pretty much 
They have they pretty much play the same way throughout the whole season. They won the game. They won their games, and then they they went head to head with Sir Tim Cog. So, so how as we, as we see it, if they went when they win this game, or if they regardless what team wins this game, they're moving on to the bracket stages, and we're going to see a great and we're gonna, looking at looking at a great final semifinals match going on here. So. We'll see how everything plays out as time go as this game goes by, and we'll see how things and how we'll things I'll see how things progress and move move right along as we start moving into the game here. We're gonna see some epic things here, along with the SWC mod being updated from last time. If you remember last time when I if you remember the last match that I casted last week, I. Let me create a squad real quick. Stream, stream, stream. Good call. Stream, stream, stream. Yeah, that worked. All right, and then lock up. Bam. All right, so I'm good. As you remember from last, from the last time when I casted the match, I, it was that was also a good match. Also an OPFL. We 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 had this SWC mod going on, and we had it rocking and rolling and everything else. So, we have we. With the SWC mod, it has been updated. There is a little bit. There are some. There are some new features into this mod that everybody can't. That I can't wait to start using. That I can't wait to start using. So we still have the camera, and that we still have the camera with the mod. That's the good. That's the good part. We have the small camera. We have the big camera. Along with the camera now. They did some little tweaks and fixes to the camera. Where you can not, where you not, not only can you still see it look like a shoulder cam, you can also see a little aim down, you can see the aim down size and see where exactly they're shooting at and where exactly they're pointing. So it's, it's going to be interesting about how everything goes along, goes along with the match. Uh oh. So we'll see how this match plays out. Hope we're looking for a good entertaining match as we got Unity, Unity squad leaders of Art, Dine and Alakuba. Alakuba. Sorry, I mis mispronounced his name. It's gonna be one of those things again. And then we also got Ace also. And then Pro G, you got Pathfinders, Stormtrooper TK six six four three and I, Aibo and Imp Man Full Miss. Full me machine. I was hoping to get some squad chatter, but you know they probably got their own little chatting going on. We look at the we let's we look as this match plays out. Match is about to begin real soon. We got your notice. Let's go ahead and go over these points real quick. One bit so I'm gonna show you one cool thing that I like about this uh this update. I can click on the map and I can move here. I can click on the map, I can move here. So it's gonna be great. Like I said, it's gonna be great. As you know, as most teams, if you remember, if you know on this match, most teams are gonna be fighting over upper DC, upper central DC, lower central DC, and lower DC. So these my, these points are gonna be key right here. So what's gonna also gonna be key is the rollouts and how everything's gonna be played out. So they don't. So we'll see what else happens as we look into the map as the match begins. Looks like uh, they're taking vehicles. Uh, Looks like they're taking all the vehicles, including the BRDM. Well, no, they're leaving a Lodgy at main for Unity. For Unity. Lodgy spawn screen. And then for Prog G, they're taking ev everything but the MRAPs and the strike. Nope, just the MRAPs. I forgot there's. Oh, wait, no, there's a. I've marked approximate Lodgy spawn. Yeah, they just take out everything, pretty much everything but the MRAPs, but the size of one. As you hear. Uh, SPG tech, you go off right here as United States plays the five. As you know, this is a new market, so I can just zoom to the five and I can see exactly where the five's at. So that's a great thing to see. Kill camp still up, kill feet still up in the top right corner. As you see, Unity and Pro G break out. Oh, Unity puts down the fob. As we get the first kill of the game from Peppa. Who's sitting up? Who's sitting on the hill with them? MGs, Tox is sitting on the hill. MGs, MGs just raining down on top of Unity right now. MGs, Tox actually. 
trying to get some last trying to get some last up there to take out the MMGs. But the MMGs are playing the top of unit. Pro G Pro G's coming up to trying to take out the north side and also north look like to advance the south. Let's, let's go in here on top. We're gonna go in here on top of the hill with Peppa, who's our who's already pretty much got two downs, one kill, one confirmed kill. We're going here. And see, we'll see what exactly how he's doing. No contact with the DC here. Hmm. You know, he's trying to play around, playing slithery snake up here. Capping off the DC. As Unity is capturing upper DC, as you can hear in this squad chat. Mark with transport marker. What's that, Ace? Send it. Crow's marked transport marker by lower DC. Gotcha. Minimal contact on lower central. Yeah, we've got nothing up here either. You can kind of see where they're aiming at. Protected. Gotcha. Don't see. Th that's kind of a big call out. They say enemies at the half. I'm gonna go focus on that. Ooh, wow, there's a lot of things going on here. We got we got the half built over here. Again, enemies getting close to the half. So the prog G marked down the half. No, they did not. Have we found the As we got small combat going into the, the middle of the point. The yeah, nice, good work. Got the BIDM rocking by Bro Dog. Any ideas where the hab is? Anyone? No. no. Not yet. I'm gonna put a suggestion mark. That's Pathfinder and Group. Gotcha, gotcha. Trade. Contact yeah. Northwest. Inch hiding in the building We're on the cap of Lower Central DC. West. West of Lower. Full squad. West of Lower DC. Mark. Got Art over here. Let's see what he's trying to do over here. Road dog uh, going uh, off with that uh, BRDM over there. If you took a tap right corner kill feed. Take over. Start pushing past Leave upper. Leave Martinez cap. So caps going in favor right now of militia. We're moving down upper central now. Got Unity trying to push down to the bottom as to lower DC. Lower DC still getting capped by Pro G. Got it. Read four markers where we need to have shit locked down. Yep, moving there now. Unity's parking down green fall markers knowing that they got they they have the open gap to actually advance and push into the area while you get a whole Holds two squads of Pro G yep, up to the top hill over here, getting rained down on the by by BRDM. So there's so many markers. Can't even decide which one I want. They, they oh, they got two halves up there. Oh, I didn't realize they had they had a half up there to the northwest of Upper Central DC. So as that goes, you got Unity pushing on Upper Central DC at this moment in time. They're also pushing on lowest. They're also getting pressure on lowest into DC. So, at the same time as they're capturing over into DC, if they can get bites on lowest into DC, they're looking for a, a quick neutralization. That they have, they're getting no pressure at all on upper into DC. As Pepper still on that hill, raining, raining. I'm gonna call it death. As we watch, perfect Bounce. running on the roof. I don't know, man. I'm up on the roof somewhere. He's on the roof. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Aiming up on the hill as he gets taken out over here. Yeah, one's it. Fights mainly on this cap right here. Burns is gonna yep. check out lower DC and then the other. US team has lost an APC. 
Not sure what they got hit by. Maybe a BRDM as the BRDM gets taken out also. What a rocket. It could have been from maybe full meme machine or all I know is that it was from somebody from probably I believe it's from full, full meme forward. machine. Let's see what they are right now. No, he's okay. Because oh, it was one, it was one deep. It might have been Valderid. Got the BRDM. BRDM goes night night. We're capping back on lower. Yeah, good work, work. Nice. Uni saying they're capping lower, lower central DC. Let me pull up my. Gotcha. Scout count on okay. Coming in, um, southwest, southwest, tonight now. Where? Sit on that one. There it is, marked accurately. Yep, good work. There's one in one the sand, I mean, snow mine. There, you focus on lower sand, Danny. Ah, uh, you back up your hab. As you hear, they have found the unity, has found the hab, I know it. Oh, I got clicked. And Scar, t watch out, watch Scar out. takes hey, out Rabs hey, over here, so. Watch out, bro, south, they're coming in south. Add, add slightly, bro. To south. Great fight over here, just for the point of exposing the DC. We got some lot of combat going on over here. Go ahead and put, go ahead and put Scar on the candy camera. Okay, Scar has to get ad hoc. Right around the corner. As Scar takes that ad hoc. You had enemies in next by the hat got next by the hab. Uh who was that skipper? It looks like they were inside the hab for a minute there, but the hab the hab's actually getting surrounded by Pro G. As we look They did. They're saying the right things. They can't let him get in here, but they have to take him. They have to get killing as Ben takes out Valdi Red and Mighty, Mighty Player trades with him. Good trade right there. They're getting here from the northeast. Pro G actually has a nice surround on their hab. This is actually pretty, pretty good. Uni Unity's got to be able to push out. At the same time, Pro G's also pushing towards their hab. Good work, Danny. Fucking good work. The Kevin back lowers his DC. We got initialization lowers his DC. I'm sorry I missed that, but it looks like we do. A good fight over it. At the same time, Pro G's trying to watch this road, so Pro Unity can't cross this road. Real good strategy. Looks like by Pro G right here, by Dima, Abo, and Art. They try to cross the road, they get shot up. Ace cross the road. Ace actually makes it cross the road as Grubs, Grubs gets taken down. As you see, militia forces or Unity gets starts to neutralize lower potential DC. But and Unity has actually pushed out the hab. Pro G still trying to get surround all the out of here, get rallies up, and trying to surround their hab over here. But Unity's now letting that happen as they're pushing out, taking them out, getting the good trades. But Pro G's pushing hard onto the point, back onto the lower central DC, and they're actually going to be capping the point back. As we got, oh my gosh, Yumi, move your name. How we doing on I can't see who this is. You got zero alpha over here. He's taken out by Mr. Finley. Good kills by Mr. Finley. Only one person alive, and that's Ace. And Denai and Denae. Denae's in the building, and Ace is on the outside. Watching the doors as we got uh, another Bro Dog with MG. Bro Dog gets taken out by Skipper. Good kills by Skipper sneaking up on the BRDM. Night Night BRDM. Good job, Bro Drop. At the same time, Bro G's trying to camp their half. It looks like they're trying to camp their half from a distance. Get an overview of it. And camp they have from distance. It's actually a smart play out here, but while they're still trying to push on lower central DC, so 
All smart plays going on. Skipper's trying to take out, uh, it looks like Gumby Wasp. Gumby Wasp is trying to attack back on the hill once he takes out Skipper. Good kills by Gumpy Wasp. At the same, at the same time, this point still getting held. By Pro G right now, but they've got people in the building over here. It's an A. This is uh, still sitting in the building in the window, waiting for people to come by. We'll put you on candy camera. Try just gets taken out as he crosses the window. Yeah, good work. Unity's recapping the to see, but as Pro G are dying on the point, apparently. apparently. She knows that this time is neutral, so only one person really needs to be on the cap. At the same time, it seems like you got squad of Unity playing to push up on the road. Gets taken, they get a vehicle taken out over here by, by one of their mighty players. Unity's trying to push on north over here, knowing that there's possibly a hab, hab over here, but they don't, not too sure they actually do, so they, but they're pushing off. Every time Pro G tries to make a move, it looks like Unity's fighting back at this moment of time. We'll take you off the camera, Danae. Proji is still pushing on the cap, but Proji is you looking at kill feed are actually Wait. making a whole bunch of kills at this moment of time. Dima takes out Martini. Bro Dog is taken Bro Dog is taken out by Dima also. Zero Alpha still holding that corner. Dima actually gets a good spot in the building. Difa gets yep. shots onto Zero Alpha. He's in the the door. Shit. No one has even the Ooh! Ace gets taken out by Dima. Ooh! One shot, one kill. Good shot, Ace. Go night, go night, night, Dima. Ace said. I'm gonna get around that. Yeah, as Vendetta is actually the yep. only person still actually on up in Central DC. At the same time, Lower Central DC still hasn't been capped, so uh, Unity can't push all their bodies towards Lower Central DC because this has not been capped. This has not been capped by either team yet, so. But this could be a choke because Pro G has looks like has more bodies onto the point. I'm wondering why my. Yep. You know it's getting capped in the favor of. Blue team. Hmm. As militia. But Pro G has more people on the cap, so I believe it's going in favor of Pro G at this moment of time. Gotcha. Radio has been marked accurately. I've got control of Lower Central now. Pepper's still on the hill. I'm gonna take a go ahead and take a look at the kills real quick. As you got 83 for the United States Army, 52 for Militia Army. Of course, the tickets in favor of United States Army, 276 to 240. 16 revised to 21 revised to the United States Army. So the United States Army is actually reviving very well. They're on the hab. No, they got a good surround on the hab. They're not actually on the hab, but they got a good surround on the hab. This is one thing I was afraid about. They get people on these hills to overlook the hab to watch it. Because they literally block, kind of block themselves from one on the hab, if you look at it correctly. Where they must have to go out this way, or they got to come out these two doors. You can, another thing that's interesting is the hab tick, has the hab count. You can see the health on the hab was at 400. You can also see the health on the fob count, which is 420. Haha, <laughs> 420 blazing. I mean, what? Um, but anyways, if you go back to the point over here, it looks like Pro G actually was able to take him out on the take him out in the building. Zero Alpha is the only person sitting in the building, He's sitting in the corner over here. And Pro G still camping the hab, sitting on top of the hills. How tab is it still cocked? So everything's getting everything's getting played. Mr. Finley takes out Danae over here on the. They're trying everything in their power. That's Finley gets taken out. Dude's was on top of the roof, but he gets taken. You and he's doing a straight call. Doing a great call out saying that they need to reset back onto the top. Get that reset up. 
Do Alpha finally gets taken on the plane. They do need to get a reset. But Uni's actually pushing a strong push onto the west side hill. Trying to flank their fob in half by Prom Park G. As Pepper gets yep. knifed by Big Dead. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, down, am I going to be able to get through that north right? United States Army's cash low as you see. As they like, got a driving right through. Uni's trying to push on, trying to push on to the okay, fob right here. Art's getting running. real close. Mean Machine's going to try to protect this hab with this fob with his life. Knowing there's people around, he can hear him crawling, crawling around. Mean Machine gets taken out by Art. Art's pushing onto the fob. Onto the fob. Take a look at Art real quick. Art's pushed onto the enemy fob. Militia team apparently loses the logic truck, but once again, Art is on the fob at this time. But he, gets, but he gets taken out by an He got Snowman on top. Snowman gets taken out by an inch also. Good, good defense by Pro G protecting the fob as they're taking out people on the hill also. Peyton. Right, I'm taking a take from main, resetting a uh, logi. Uh, resetting a fucking rally. And as the hab yeah, goes yeah, down, yeah, PUBG yeah, takes yeah. out the hab on Lois and DC. Or not the hab, but the fob gets disabled. It's at 24.5, and it's gone. Fob is taken out. Uni's fob gets taken out. They ain't going to have to reset. Like they called out. At the same time, Pro G has their fob bub and they took out the looks like their logic truck, so they take Danny, can you check that account? So whether or not that's a good trade or not is a questionable, but as we look on the map, full control of Pro Pro G has right now all over these points. Upper Central DC, upper DC, Lower Central DC. Still got this Pro G's Pro G's gonna start moving towards the north, trying to protect upper C upper DC, make sure that nobody actually gets into the um, gets into the actual cap. Once again, you gotta remember that this is a winner takes all. Winner moves on to the semi-final bracket play. So, the funny thing about the, the so this is gonna going on. The funny thing about this right here is um, they're uh walking right next by a hab that's I believe it's in the building. Yeah, it's in the building. So y Unity got a good rally. This is the only squad that can really help defend the point. Scout's car has been fighting. They, as a matter of fact, they are already taking shots. From Proc G, who's on the hill over here by Mighty Play. Mighty Play looks like he's about to get taken out. Right yeah, Mighty gets played to taken no, out by Ethley. Fucking shooting from those east You're gonna have to go up north. Go north. They got great callouts on them together. They're they gotta go DC. north. And they have to go on upper DC. They're getting great callouts at this moment in time. Valderay gets taken out though. By himself. He was able to get a rally. So Unity's gonna try to get a fob up north and having to push down south onto the upper DC caps. Woo! This game's getting good. This game's getting real good. But like I said, everything's in favor of Prog G right now. As Prog G knows they got as Unity knows they gotta defend Upper DC before they before uh Prog G actually caps Upper Center DC. You know that low G way, Ella. Yeah, it's moving now. Great call-outs, great call-outs, great call-outs. Let's move over here. Let's go ahead and take a look at this fob over here. Are you in range? Are you like Danny? Nope. Just get you, get Alan. Can you sort it? Getting that fob in half, getting the supplies out. Empty truck. Militia team lost a technical. Apparently, uh, might have been the BRDM. Apparently, they lost the BRDM. Gotcha. Uh, I believe. Let's take a look over here. No, they just lost the technical. It was just technical. Now the BRDM. I feel special. But great hat by Unity. Great response. Uh, which is gonna also be quickly spotted by Mercenary, who's looking straight onto their fob and hab. Mercenary spotted the fob already. Ooh. There's a rally on spawn screen. Gotcha. Question is, is there, I, I'm questioning. Did 
if he's already if he's thinking of, go he's probably just thinking should I be the slithery snake and push in or should I just move in a great spot by mercenary as he's trying to push around onto the hab I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep this little camera on him Ooh. um yeah I'm gonna, put in, I'm gonna keep it big but we want to keep an eye on that as low as as opposition DC gets neutralized by pro G oh no I lost the camera I press the wrong button Unity's pro Unity, Unity's pushing on the upper DC though, so looks like we got another yeah, map coming down the main. Gotcha. Uh, did Lord Helmet spot? Like direct north. Looks like Lord Helmet spotted him up here. Direct south. Go ahead, take a look at his camera. Gonna walk right by him. All right, we got a good hold on our DC for now. Hope he looks at him. They traded with yeah, each other out. Radio, radio. Ella. Yep, yep. Good call outs. They are all, I admit, yeah, Unity's good. all over the comms and all over the map looking on the map, realizing that, hey, there's people next to the radio. And Unity's quickly responding, also bringing some people yeah, to the north. Me, but at the same time, Proji's still putting pressure onto them, moving up to Upper DC, actually, knowing that they got Upper Central DC captain quickly. And United States Army lose another M rap out here. Careful, uh, uh, Allah, just Aaron died to it. Yeah, yep, yep. I don't know about who. Looks like Max is gonna meet up with Bant. Bant takes him out. It looks like he takes him out. Work, work. They look like they're putting mines down on the road. Lower you see the mines on the map, I see the mines on the map, so it's all the gold marker. Unity is kind of in a mixed position where they're trying to defend that five and half, and they're also trying to, they're also trying to defend um, Upper DC. But at the, at the time, it looks like Pro G is trying to push hard in Upper DC, and it looks like they may be on neutralized. The radio. They may be neutralizing soon. Not yet. When because they got people on the cap. Walmart's Prime gets taken out by Stormtrooper TK. Allah okay, actually gets a good angle yep. on it. 100% accurate. Have on me. Yep. Have on me. Marked. Yep. Good shit. Good shit. Good shit. Unity marks call to have. They're on the have We're right coming. now. That's out. Unity's on this have over here with Snowy Man and Ari. Right, they're camping it. Looks like they're gonna try to take. Dig it out, take it out. So let's take a quick look at the health of the half. Let's go down. Papa spawns on the half. Papa gets taken out. Max spawns on the half. Max gets taken out. Snowman is sticking on top of the half. Two eighty on the half. Half has been dug down a layer. Nice. On the radio. And as we look at the same time, all losing up a DC. Half's deactivated. Alakaba is actually sitting on the cap still, still alive on the cap. Like I said, they're losing upper DC. Let's take a look up here, over here. Invader yep. takes some people out over here. Unity has a good protection of their fob over here. But at the same time, I believe they may have brought a little too many people trying to f onto their fob and not defending upper, upper DC, so it's questionable. At the same time, I'm, I am seeing a small little f movement over here by uh, two scouts over here. Trying to move on to the enemy fob over here, but I believe Pro G. Pro G Evil Shrimp should be able to see this and spot this out as they're moving in slowly over. As they're moving in from slowly over here. Hey, we need to think about angles of attack. You're running direct south. You're gonna get fucking wrecked. Yep. Full moving machine starts moving away. I'm not sure he's what exactly he's doing. I believe he's just trying to scout out. Well, he might possibly see these two actually in the building, so. They gotta get the hat back. Well, now his binocular is looking on the hill. You're gonna get the hat off? No, no, they're gonna get it back up probably. Do you see what I see? Don't believe he does. Oh, spots him. Realize that he's, somebody's moving on to the half. You know, this is... This is actually key right here. IED! 
US used that fob to an IED. I believe he may have had a fob. Straya puts a fob on the RF4 burns and takes out their hat their fob with an ID. Smart plays. No fob for US. Straya gets taken out at the same time. Smart play for the militia army. Prog G gets the hab up over there, so it's a good thing they got another hab up. Already set up and prepared, so it's a good thing they had another hab up. But at the same time, Pro G actually get is trying to capitalize on this upper DC cap that is getting neutralized at this moment of time. Uh, yep, definitely getting neutralized. Hab gets redug once again. The hab by Pro G gets redug up, so they're in a great position. Actually, Pro G, even even after losing that fob, they're still in a great position to cut. To keep control of this north side over here. It's gonna be a hill battle right now. Neutralization for Pro G right now on the on the upper DC half or point. Got bodies all over the place getting wiped. 241 to 72 in favor of Pro G. Now guys, you gotta remember how the ticket count works on this on these maps now. When it comes to playing these, when it comes to playing these games, a, for the team that actually caps the point, they actually cap, they actually get 20 tickets. But the opposing team loses 40 tickets. So when they when Unity loses half, they're looking about close to about 20 tickets left. Look on the map. You got squad one. You got squad one of uh, Unity trying to move down south. Let's, let's go ahead and move down south over here. Looks like they're trying to do a flank. But it's been spotted out by Abdul... Abdullah Maslow Hunter. I just, sorry if I, mean, I butchered his name probably. I do apologize, but hey. Bent takes him out actually, so no chance right over there as we're gonna move, as we're gonna move a little back up north to Upper DC. As Unity's trying to fight strong to back down south towards Upper DC. 237 to 67 in favor of Pro G right now. All that mass is a cap right now. I'm coming. I'm going for radio. I'm going radio. I'm going radio. They said contact on residents is just one body, but it looks like he got taken out with mercenary with the hat kit for Pro G. Straight, straight in a biotech now. IED goes off from RF for Burns. Doesn't really get anybody. Skipper's still alive walking around yeah, the building. Dude, you know, yeah. I, got him. I think I might have traded with him. Take a look at Skipper. That's right? not who I want to look at. That's uh, awkward. He's on the other side of you. On the other I was looking at Australia dead body. You know, let's actually take a look at these guys over here. Oh, everybody's walking in the building. Unity's trying to get on the cap. Trying to at least stall it out. Oh, hold out. Skipper takes out. Unity. Skipper's taking out. Work either. West. But he has to bandit. He's bandaging. He As he walks through the wall. Yep, Unity stalls the cap. Evil is taking trying to take out people on the hill. Is that a radio, radio, M4? radio, ace, radio, ace. Hey, is that a friendly M4? Radio is that? Oh, I didn't yeah. notice that. Radio is getting dug down by the uh, K KP9I. Dug it down halfway. He's trying to trying to run away, stay alive. Woo! KP KP9I almost takes out the nade for tries to get the cap back. Captain back. Uni's capping back up at upper DC. Oh, I didn't realize. Intense auto five minutes countdown. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead. Skipper still still alive on the point apparently. Yeah, still alive on the point. Waiting for people to come to him. Being patient. Very smart strat. As you pretty much can see how he's aiming down sides and where he's have. aiming. Like fifty of the half. Gotcha. Super, you know. Woo! Raphael got tired of Skipper and decided to put a rocket in there and said night night to him. 
Yeah, it's me. It's me. I'm no, not, not me. Okay, good work. Good it's work. 11 to 245 in favor of Pro G right now. Take a look at Abel. Abel gets taken out by Gumby Wasp. Yeah. Yep, yep. Gumby Wasp goes in points and dies to, sk and dies to uh, Skipper. Skipper gets revived by Dima. Dima being in the big of the hills. Let's take one. Once again, 207 to 106. 74. 207 to 106. Once again, 49 revives to 34 revives. Medic's playing. Medic's still in their part for both teams, but more importantly for Pro G. Five tickets left to 243. Pro Unity's at the point where they do not want to give up. While they actually got pressure on residents right now, Pro G gets pressure on residents 243 to 4. I believe by the time that that's even possible that uh, this game will be over by now. So once again, it's 243 to 4. Habs actually being dug. Ooh, I almost clicked that. Whoops. Habs actually starting to get dug up by Perfect and Pathfinder. Well, Pathfinder's in the hab. Perfect's going to, going to start digging down the hab. That's getting dug down. You see 376, 364. You can see the health bar going down on it. All right, you got a medic over here. Wallace, Wallace is Prime trying to go, going to be a... Let's see, if let's see if he can be a super medic. Nope. Gets Geo by Valder Red. Night, night. At the same time, they're trying to push the fob over here to him, which will end the game much quicker. But you got a hook trying to protect the fob over here. Hab's already down. Uni's still trying to sit on the cab with a couple of people over here, looks like. No, like, got two people on the cab over here. One tick of left, 240 to one. You hear rockets coming out from Raphael trying to take out Skipper. Gibber trying to pull out his rock at the end of the game, but as you see, it's over GG 240 to 0 in favor of Pro G. Pro G did an excellent job with their use of positioning against uh, Unity on this map, which more than the map, they did a nice little flank onto the hab of Unity. So multiple different things went in favor of Pro G as we look at as we look at the points. As we look at the ticket counts. I like the screenshot just for my personal preferences, you know. But if you look at the kills, kill fee wise, all in favor of the United States Army. Everything's in favor of the United States Army. She knows only Ethley and Bant are the only two people that went double digits would come to kills wise, unless you want to talk about downs when you got multiple people coming down. But Pro G kind of went strong with their uh, with their kills as you as you can see over here. It went real strong, went real heavy with the kills over here. Skipper, 18, 5, and 21. Scar, 17, 6, 21. You got Mighty Player, 13, 10, 14, 16, 6, 19. But in one major factor that we can miss is it's the revives. 14 revives for Colt. 10 revives for Shivak. See, 3 and 3 apiece for... Uh, yeah, I'm not even going to bother with this. And then Dima. I'm not even, I'm going to call him Adaz. Adas, yeah, we'll call it with Adas. And then we got, so we're going to, and then we go on the other side over here. We got six revives for, Cal, for Cash Cloud Clink, seven revives for Martini, and then seven revives for Snowman and, and Raps, and also Squeak for six revives. So reviving is, uh, kind of played a big part in this factor in 53 to 35. But at the same time, kills also play a big factor. Also, 214 to 108, kills and positioning. So, good to see. Good to see how we're having a good, pretty good match over here. Once the map change is over, we're going to, uh, Unity is going to be on the United States side, and Pro G is going to be on, militia, on the militia side. So, kind of curious how Unity is going to play this out, knowing that they got pressure behind their back. If they want to move on to the brackets, if they want to move on to the bracket stage, it's going to be a must, must win by over 240 tickets for Pro G, for Unity, correction. So we'll see how the next round, next round plays out. And, I, and for now, guys, I'll let you t t go ahead and keep tuning in. I'll see you next round. Yeah, can't even speak English.
Hello? Okay, there we go. Ah, sorry. Sorry, I was having a little technical difficulty there. Do apologize, but I'm back. Back to the game. Let's guess we get round two about to start. Ow, my ears. Oh, my ears, that hurt. Oh, good. We good though. All right. So once again, as once again, guys, as you know, Prog G is up by 240 tickets, so it's a must-win for Unity right now by more than 240 tickets in order for them to move on to bracket play. Unity's going balls to the wall, driving the M Rob straight in. As Prog G is driving straight, driving a uh, techie straight across to the fields, trying to go to the west side. R4 Burns is in the vehicle. Woo! SPG Techie. Oh! Did that not hit? Four Burns, I know for a fact, got the Techie, but did that not hit? That looked like that hit. Um, yeah. Bob and Havoc goes down for the United States Army, putting it right on top of the Sampus and GC. At the same time, Brogy's Bro moving up to the Northwest over here. Halt, trying to halt squad one for unity over here. Proji is already all over the map. Already pinching this squad right here. Zero Alpha keeps moving on. Denae is the squad leader. <clears throat> Proji gets multiple different attacks and points. Pinching this squad. And got a couple people pushing south. Trying to push onto the cap. While wow, unity, it looks like they're trying to do something with the Lodgy down here to the southeast over here. Kind of curious of what they're going to try to do. Are they going to build a mortar pit or are they going to build a... Are they going to build a... A, uh... Ooh, I can't even think about it right now. Let's team lose the APC. That will be the BRDM by Mac. Mac lose the BDRDM. Kind of curious what they're going to build over here. If they're going to build emplacements, fob have them. Kind of curious what's going to go on. As Unity still out here, Unity knows they gotta be strong over here. Gotta be strong as the U.S. side over here. Did I not? No, I did not. Rip myself. There we go. Special. I am very special. Where's Caster in there? As you zero alpha already. I'm here. Your alpha found that logic already. He's on that logic, but he gets taken out by Pathfinder. Pathfinder, go ahead and takes him out quick and easy. Same time, Unity's trying to be aggressive, trying to push on the opposition DC early. Same time, getting attacked over here on this west side of opposition DC. OG just puts the fob and have down a pretty much basic spot right on the cap over DC, over DC. So as soon as you spawn in, you're on the cap. Same time. I'm not seeing anything done with their vehicle over here. The Lodgy, they just have a Lodgy over here. So I'm kind of curious of what exactly they're going to do. Let's see what Squad 4's name is. They don't even got, they just call WOW. I'm kind of curious of what they're going to do with the Lodgy down here. I really am. But. That's not the factor right now. Factor was matter as we're gonna focus on this right here. Prog G is trying to push. It's actually pushing onto the eastern hill, western hill over here. Now it's time to lose the chug. It looks like they lose the transport over here, right here next by me. Five tickets go. Five tickets go down the jam right there. Same time, Unity's trying to push up north. Prog G got a very nice spread. If RF4 Burns doesn't pay attention, he might actually lose that um, MRAP over here. That wouldn't play in good favor for Unity at this moment in time. That's you're down for 240 tickets. But Unity's trying to push onto uh, Over Central DC. I'm actually kind of surprised that they wouldn't go for the let them, let them cap and then we'll cap it back tactic, but we'll see how they play this out because at the same time, 
Yep. Yeah. Yeah. RF4 Burns is about to get tapped in the back. Oh, hey, there goes one. One lap by Mercenary right into the MRAP. MRAP just looking for the kills right now. RF4 Burns. Gonna burn out. RF4 Burns gets out. Get shot out by Valderet. Valderet takes him out. So this looks like a. There goes one MRAP down. There's good 10 tickets right there. Militia team plays the fob. Wait. No, okay, there we go. Yeah, Pro G plan to place the fob up here. The M rap finally burns out, so Pro G finally places the fob up here. Dan's actually on this fob. No problem. Wrapping around is gonna be on this fob, so they. Pro Unity does have a guy scouting out over here. Looking. Knows that there's a larger truck over here. And it's looking to move on to this. Dodging the rally, that's actually smart. If you don't touch the rally, they don't know you're there. So we got to keep we got to keep an eye on this over here, folks. As we move back onto the point over here, to Opposition GC, which is control of militia at this moment of time. With the Unity trying to get recontrol back up this hill over here. But at the same time, they should probably be pushing towards Opposition GC to try to hold them off over there. So. They're making use of those frag rockets, I can tell you that right now, though. That's a good thing. As Ben gets taken out by, by Skipper. Skipper's been very, very good this game. As Militia Team loses a large truck. Ben takes out the larger truck. I... It's smart, but at the same time, I believe he should have hit that. He's taking out the rally also, so... I don't believe that... Frog G actually knows that yet. They know they lost the logic choke, but at the same time, if I believe he may have thought it was may have been a transport, which they got a fob up here. They have a fob marked, so will they will they be able to find it? Just a question. And they, if they find it, that's kind of key. That's goes that goes twenty tickets for <clears throat> for Prog G. So Unity needs everything, every all the help that they can get at this moment in time. So they should probably try to find that fob and probably take it out. Oh, as you see, Lower Sins DC gets captured by Unity. And Upper Sins DC, DC gets capped by Militia Forces. So this is the time where Unity might want to start pushing on Upper Sins DC to try to get those tickets back, get those tickets away from Frog G. But... Looks like they're focused too much around the cap, but Skipper gets that Cook's kill on the Aqua Triangle. Prog G is actually killing. Prog G is actually. They control they're controlling so much of the map right now, it's not even funny anymore. They're controlling from the north of what northwest of the they're controlling these west hills. They're also trying to control this right here. But at the same time, Unity's trying to push push and fight back onto the onto the cap and everything else, but Brock G gets people to actually defend him. Bob was getting dug down, but Shivik says, nah, nah, not today. Bant once again gets taken out on the fob, so they know that the f so they know that the fob is up here. Are they gonna go? Is he looking to dig down the fob? Yes, he is. He's looking at digging down the fob, I do believe. Yeah, he's trying to dig down the fob. But, Bant still hasn't gave up yet. So, if, if they can get over there to this fob before he actually digs down the fob all the way, they can get 20 tickets off of Prog G right now. But Pro if you look at the kill, feed, Prog G is just going oh. Over there, as US team loses a, a APC, so they probably lost another uh, M wrap. That's 10 tickets down the drain right there. Yep, he takes him out on the fob. As they're still trying to push towards the fob, their fob got taken out. Question is, is probably going to try to push up the hill to try to stop them from digging down this fob, or are they just going to let this fob go die out? Once again, that's 20 tickets right there. It looks like Valderet's gonna try to push onto the fob over here, but I believe that's gonna be a little too late. 
Because they already dug it down halfway for them. It's only at 183 health, 82. Let's, let's go move on the map. And we look to the north side over here. Looks like Upper Center GC is still being contested by Proc G and Unity. Proc G, Valderez is going to try to stop him from digging down this hab over here. Or this fob over here. Scout takes out all the, all the Ukba. As Cash Cow still trying to dig down the, hab, the fob. Valderez stops him from doing it, but at the same time, Gumby Wasp gets a trade. So, Gumby Wasp is going to be able to take down this fob uncontested over here. So, there goes 20 tickets for Proc G. At the same time, looks like Habs. Alright, so we're gonna move back over here. Skipper's the only person alive on the lowest upper potential DC cap. As Unity's, as Proxy's trying to do a wraparound onto the lowest DC hop. Five. But Squad 4, lead, Squad leading by full meme machine, looks like he's gonna try to push onto the enemy five that's on lowest DC from the south. But the good thing about having the fob on lower central DC at this time will probably is the fact that it, since it's right on lower central DC, you already have people defending the point. So they just gotta take a lookout and onto that point and do what they gotta do. But once again, I believe Unity really needs to push heavy onto these points and stop losing vehicles. Because they only got about 36, 36 tickets away. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the scoreboard over here. Kills go in favor of Prog G right now. Militia 59 to 49. Medics is 11 to 12 to 11. Prog G still leading the leaderboard of kills and revive. So Prog G is doing their their own part at this mo at this point at this moment of time. This game is not out of the reach and out out of range for Unity to win. They just need to actually push the objective. But they're too much spread out away from the objective that they're not actually pushing up to DC. They really need to focus on this cap at this moment in time. How? Let's take a look at who the kills real quick. I want to take a look at Skipper because he's been alive for the longest. Every time I come over here, he's on the cap. Skipper's at 3, 2, and 3. Skipper's playing real big, doing real big things, doing big things, playing big things. So, you know, he's holding on to the cap real well. I know I'm not using much of the first person cam guys, but when you're all over the map, it's just a whole different story. And she got squad four of Unity trying to wrap around. I still think they need to push over DC. They're 25 tickets off from the off away from actually not being able to do anything. This game is not out of the bag. Yet. This game is not over yet for Unity yet. When I mean the game, I mean the match. They have to win by more than 240 tickets and push doing this wide flanks. I'm not sure it's the best idea this moment. Time. Scar gets a two piece, two piece rack em up. Night and night, night night, eight hook and ace. Still not too sure. I know what they're, I believe I know what they're trying to do. I believe they're trying to do the wrap around on their fuck. Oh, wait, actually, now I don't know what they're doing right now. I actually say the truth. I was thinking they're going to try to wrap around to the hab, but, or the fob, but I don't know. And they marked the hab over here. There's no hab over here, but they got marked also marked the fob over here. But there's this, the fob over here. As you see, Pro G trying to... It looks like Meme Machine's going to get a rally down. And then have the squad push towards the rally. Push from the rally onto Lower Sins DC to take out that fob and hab. I'm kind of. But we'll see how that plays out. Things got a little quiet over here. But as I can say, Unity needs to push the objective. They got a new rally down, they're all going to push together. This is actually a great push, pushing as a team instead of one by one. By uh, Vendetta. Vendetta ain't having any of that. You got Evil Shrimp. It looks like a medic, I do believe. Let's just take a full view. Full look at him and see where exactly he's looking at.
You gotta take down the names when you do this. I'm sorry, I have to do pause that you can't really see the figures. You can't see, remember, you gotta remember, they can't see what I see, so. Unity needs to still push us up as you see as Evil Stream gets taken out of the Taken out by. Uh, I didn't see the name. I do apologize. But at the same time, Prog Unity's trying to take out the Hab. They know where the fob's at, they hear the fob. Alu Akba is around the hab. Pushing inside to the where the hab's at. It's gonna run attentively and they trade it off. They know where the hab's at. I believe Unity is not making use of everything they have. They got mortars and everything else. Right now, the ticket's 242 to 243. No, that's. <coughs> even though the tick count's 243. 242 to 241, this game's not over yet. They can still gain 20 tickets per cap. So right now, so right now, what it looks like is that they can gain, if at this moment of time, they can actually gain up to about 80 tickets at this moment of time if they push them all the way back to farm. <clears throat> but they need to make a move pretty soon because if not, they're gonna lose. They're gonna lose their way out of bracket contention and. It's going to hurt them in the long run. They need to make moves and they need to make moves quick. Jenny's holding off this, this push to the south. Look at Sky's trying to do something about this rally. And then, nope, Steve says, Steve says, denies that, denies that, so. They're still holding in that compound right there. Unity's still trying to push up north towards up to DC. <clears throat> but they got a lot of people on the defense cap, and squad four of Unity is trying to push down south onto the WGC, but they get denied also. So. Not look, things are not looking in favor of Unity at this moment in time when it comes to the match overall. Unity is just not being more, uh, not being aggressive enough onto the actual caps. They need to actually start moving aggressive before they, before this match actually gets out of reach. As militia team loses the technical, loses the technical over here. Uh, not sure if it had an ID or anything on it, but they not know they lose that technical, and somebody has an ID on them, right here. Looks like they couldn't get a new rally down here. Prog G couldn't get a new rally. They actually get taken out. So if the flank to the south goes down. That's they lose a they lose a truck over there. That's just five tickets right there. So that goes there goes that. They actually did them a favor. You lose the larger truck at main, spawn them back at main. Now they got so it works out. As Unity is actually trying to start pushing onto the cap of upper upper since DC. This. Could have been theirs. This is one for the win that they could have had, but they're not pushing enough bodies onto the cap. They're trying to push around. They're trying to do these flanks instead of just pushing onto the cap. I feel like they're trying to waste their bodies more, trying to push around and push around than actually trying to push onto the cap. As Pro G is just holding them off of from the half from upper since upper DC. Unity ne needs to push a point. Right now it's 223 to 215. Is look is more and more looking out of reach at this moment of time right now. As Unity finally pushes onto the cap right here of Upper Sense as you see, they're not neutralizing at this moment of time with the bodies that's on the cap for Prog G. But they are but they are on the cap. They got four they got three bodies on the cap, it's three to three. There you go. All I gotta do is just kill one, now it's three to four. Go ahead and look at Gerbs real quick, push over the wall. Art's on the corner over there. He gets taken, he gets taken out by Abel. Yeah. 
Look at R. R is taking out R. Four burns. Four burns takes him out. But four burns also dies in the process. Four burns actually takes that too. And he dies to Mighty Player. They hear him walking. There's three of them just holding this one compound. Holding corners. Not moving. Protecting the compound. Great back. Have each other back. Skipper takes out Big Daddy Jerry. This is actually good defense by Pro G right now. Holding us. Holding their spots, not pushing out, just defending the cap, protecting what they need to protect. And I hear mortars. Rock G brought up mortars. And they're mortaring their where the enemy around the enemy have a radio. Not exactly hitting on Mar oh wait, they're actually hitting the radio? They're aiming right for the radio. They know exactly where the radio's at, they just need to actually hit it. A squad one of Pro G still trying to put do a wide flank over here. Mortis land. Mortis land on the half. Next level five. Bob still take no damage. You pretty much need to do direct impact on these more looking mortis in order to work. Bob still taking no damage. And then these mortis off just by a little bit. They're aiming in the general area, but they're still off by a little bit. Looks like the mortar guy got actually got taken out to be, to tell you the truth. Uh, yeah, Pathfinder got taken out, who was on the mortars. But at the same time, like I said, Upper Sun GC is being held pretty well. Now, at this moment of time, <laughs> Unity, 40 tickets. They, can, they need to catch two cats without dying, pretty much. Right now, this game is looking more and more out of reach for Unity right now. Look at, look at Ace over here. Ace gets taken out by Stone Trooper TK. Stone Trooper TK trying to be sneak, do the sneak sneak. Look at Sparrow over here. Sparrow takes out Stone Trooper TK. Unity's trying to get a, a surround on the Prog G Hab. Exactly what they're trying to do is to block off all the entrances and, exi and exits that they have here. But at the same time, that's killing them when it comes to ticket count 197. They need to cap about close to three caps now in order for them just to win this game. But Prog G's holding off long enough, in all honesty. Bob G doing a strong defense. Unity still trying to do a wrap around while it looks like one squad of Unity is trying to push on the Upperson GC. While another squad is of of Unity is trying to push west, trying to take out this car to the west of the Upperson GC. Have. Uh. Bob G is actually pushing out at this moment of time. I love you. You. You, Kaba. It's actually trying to push on the round so it's at five and half again. Takes out Fellini. Mr. Fellini. So they know they're just right outside the door. This is another thing that they're not doing, so they're not actually pushing on to the half, their point. They got the jet of a pro G because pro G is just. They're playing stack defense and they're holding the ground. So you need to try to push on the north side over here. I'm trying to push down south. One eighty eight to one ninety two. You need to try to push into this area over here, but Skipper's denying the max answer once again. Once again, Uni's getting a great surround when it comes to like their hab area, but they need to actually play the objective and try to get onto the objective and try to hold them off from there. Skipper goes down by Vendetta's grenade. 
There's only one person alive actually on the cap for Unity or Park G. So they can actually just stay, if they actually stay alive and keep one person on the cap, they can get actually neutralized. Dima gets taken out by Zero Alpha and Vendetta's gonna try to push in. Vendetta takes out Dima. Nobody's on the cap for, for Park G. We're looking at neutralization for Unity. Yep. Unity's neutralizing uh, upper central DC. Park G's trying to push back. Same time, you got Mac on top of the hill with the BRDM trying to shoot, shooting down onto the point of Upper Central DC. He's missing a lot of shots, and so Unity's got full control over the point, over the cap right now, and starting to get the initialization. But you guys still remember at the same time, they still got their hab on the up, Upper DC and are holding it down. Broke G has tickets to waste. It's 181 to 172. And with that, and with that, ladies and gentlemen, unless, unless, even if they try to push him back to main, I, I will count this match pretty much over for Unity. We see him prog. We're gonna see Prog G move on to bracket play. More than likely, gonna end up probably facing tactically ad, tactically adequate as they're gonna hold that second seed. As, but as we continue on with this match, let's, uh, but we're gonna continue on with this match. One sixty, one eight to one sixty six. We look at the kills right here. One sixty four to one twenty seven in favor of Prog G. Unity's just getting outshot by the malicious AKs compared to the United States Army's. Uh, I'm not sure who Rocket that was. I believe it was Zero Alphas, like I said, but that's some range and that's a good, nice shot. Night night, night night BRDM. Unity's all over the cap right now, so holding the cap down. Let's see what Mighty Player can do, actually. I'm kind of curious to see what Wait, he can do. Could throw a grenade over the wall. Yep, Mighty Play gets, gets traded. <laughs> As Prog G still gets control of Upper DC, so. Prog G still trying to push onto this Hava down here, knowing that it's out here. So. Unity's getting the kills, they're executing everything they need to execute, but they need to start pushing more north. They need to immediately start pushing towards Upper Central DC. Upper DC. Once again, Prog G has to, is up by 240 tickets, so Unity had to win by more than 240 tickets, or at least tied by 240 tickets. Which, if they tied, it would have to depend on how quick, how quick the match got got over with to the winning team. Now Unity have, can actually push all their pressure onto the Prog G Hab at this moment in time once they capture our percentage of DC. captured ever since DC, so that's 20 tickets back, 176 and 109. But they need 240 tickets in order to beat them. Unity can win the map, but they I but they will not win this match. I do, I do, I do hate to say that, but and we're looking at Prog G moving on into the next onto in the next um round. Pretty much Melissa team lost the technical, so we lost the technical and Unity takes it out. 
That's five tickets, please. I have a 10. It's five. Let me double check real quick so I don't sound. Yeah, it's five. Okay. Five. Unless it was the armor one, which I don't believe they have an armor one, so it's five. 174 to 99 in favor of unity at this moment in time. Hmm. 176 to 153. Prime G. Revised 45 to 40. About pretty much even, you can pretty much say. Bant gets taken out all the way over here by Scar. Scar with a long distance shot. And Bant was on the top of the hill. Prime G playing good stack defense around the half. Protecting the half. Everything's working out beautifully for Prog G. As Unity, they're dying actually on the point of uh, Upper Central DC. But Prog G can actually get on that cap and actually start neutralizing while Unity has to recover. It looks like uh, Prog G is trying to push out to. Not, not Prog G, yeah, Prog G is trying to still push towards his tab over here. But uh, Unity's just not letting him buy. Is that the MRAP over here? Yeah, that's open top MRAP. Four dead bodies, two people. What happened? Probably she's actually yeah, pushed onto the cap. Only one person alive for you, for you, uh, Unity, and that's Martini who's holding the corner right there. Don't try to cross the street without looking both ways. Night night. I'll go night night. Your vehicle? Yeah. Bots is bringing in Techie hey. Pathfinder. Yep. Squad lead waiting for one of the squad mates. Looks like he might try to be trying to do another flank. Um, let's, see. let's take a look at kills. A gun boss 10, 10, 7, 15. RF4 Burns 10, 7, 12. Ethelie 11, 7, 16. Bent, the Bent 13, 9, 17. As you look at Prog G, Squad 3 just going off. 14, 69. Smile 5, 9, 11. Mercenary 12, 6, 13. Abdul Muscle, Muscle Hunter 10, 1, 10. Squad 3 is just doing, having, having a really good day over here for the militia forces. As Juni is trying to push back up to Upper to DC. Which probably just, just needs one body. Whoop, last bike. Zero Alpha takes. Zero Alpha takes out that uh, flanking techie as he sits up here with the lat. Goes five tickets. So once again, this game is just insurmountable for Unity to come back to actually win the match. So, like I said, Prog G is moving on to the next, to the bracket stage. Which I do believe they may be facing Tadley adequately. Not sure how the bracket works, but we'll take a look at it once the match ends. As Uni still trying to do a flank onto the onto the half of Upper, upper DC. Prague Tree still trying to do a heavy push onto the half to the south of Lower Central DC. Uh, looks like the no. Uh, it seems like the no give up policy has come into effect for Prague G, which the no I I call the no give up policy, which is pretty much you're under you're under 100 tickets. Do not give up. Just let yourself bleed out.
Oh, geez, pushing back onto the cap of Upper Central DC. Aqua Triangle gets taken out by Scar. It's getting, I believe it's getting neutralized, yeah. Upper Central DC needs to get initialized by Pug G. Ad hook throws a grenade over the wall. Boom, boom, skipper. Your skipper goes 9 9 by Ad hoc. Ad hoc takes out Art. And Smile and Ad hoc actually trade. Oh, Unity's still trying to push all the way around the point instead of pushing onto the point. Well, actually, no, they're trying to push onto the point now. But once again, Proxy's in their static positions. One in the building, one, one watching this door, one watching this door. They're in the static position two ways in. Most people who look at the door. I'll look. I'll uh, I'll uh, guys the skipper who's watching that door. Digger just looks like looks like he's going to push out. They hear shots, so the skipper's gonna be watching this door. I hear they hear a grenade. Big Dad Jerry throws a grenade over the wall. Save it, save it. Mercenary dies from the grenade also. Blood, or no, he dies from the company lost. Digris is taken out no, no, by Cash Cow Clean. So you, you need it with the hold. And on the half. On the half, Ben, ben was kept in the half for a, kept in the half for a second there on top. Pass the medic himself, bandaging himself. I hear a. Um, ID went off, so whoever was in this area of Jennifer City, I wish I saw that. It just went night night. <clears throat> As Ben's just sitting on top of the other side of the wall, around the half. Ben dies, Ben and Art go ahead and trade off real quick. Table kills the guys up north. Militia team loses their Lodgy. Out here, believe it may have just burnt out. As Unity's still trying to hold them all, but trying to push them beneath. But needs to be aggressive. They have to. They had to be aggressive in this. They had to be aggressive onto their cap. Oh uh, wait, what? They're out with two piece, with a two piece with Grub's help and Vendetta's help. They're still trying to push the half. Best thing to do right now at this moment in time. What a nade. What a nade by Aibo. Landed right next by him. Zero Alpha. Oof. I love the kill feed. Go ahead and get some clothes. Then Dennis taking good shots to smile. Pulik sits in the southern house, through the road, the southern house. On the second floor, the second floor. You're going to the southern house, right? Don't stop here, there's a grand security. Yeah. The southern house. В этом компаунде тоже южнее меня слышу топал. Бля, там меня, бля, близко, близко. Там бы вас всех сада смазал. Well, I'd hope she had to go on the roof. Wasn't very smart idea. Art denies him the access to the roof. Там бы вас сада пусть ему тоже вал. Takes out Abo. As soon as Sean pushed hard onto the hab right here. At the same time, Prodigy's holding off. I mean, they got a nice little sandbag wall right over here. Bellini's trying to pull out a rocket, dodge the grenade by yeah. RF4 Burns. You. And it was takes out their sandbag so they can use that kill hole. And Gumby Walsh is trying to push in, fighting with Skipper and Dima. Looks like everybody's dying around the hab. They only got three people up at this moment in time. 
Alpha Triangle is actually in the in the hab. It's on their fob. They're actually gonna start digging their fob. Dima dies up in there. You got Big Daddy Jerry inside the hab. And the dads who try, who try to hold the hab on the outside guys off. So this is goes in favor of Upper DC is going in favor of uh, Puck. I'm pretty sure of Unity at this moment in time, but it's a little too late on that one. Honestly, if Prog G wants, Prog G is his favorite of this game right now, so. They're digging, the Unity's trying to dig down the Hab, the Hab is dug down. Favor of Melissa team lost to FOB. One ticket remain, 111 to one. GG no re 110 to 0 Minute. in favor of Unity. If you look at the kills, 221 to 240. I'd like to get my screenshots <laughs> in just because I like to like to keep the match of that cast. But unit, but overall, Prog G wins the match. Yeah, but it's suit suit master with that cross up. Two bracket play. <laughs> We're more than likely to. So they'll be in the second seed. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the brackets real quick. And see, how, and see how that goes. Yes, <laughs> sir. Hold on a second. Oops. Okay. Yep. All right, here we go. Oh, that's a group one. Oops. All right. All right, so if once we move, go ahead and move this right here. Once we, as we're looking at this group stage right here, you, Prog G gets Prog G gets the win over Unity, which will give them twelve points and move them straight into uh, second place, and being the overall and being the overall winner and decider of the uh, decider of that of that place. You got Sick Tech and Cog, which who plays tomorrow, who plays tomorrow at two p.m. at two p.m. my time. That's will be Central Time, which is nineteen hundred. I believe it is. Yeah, nineteen hundred, nineteen hundred UTC. If I am correct on this one. Yes, I am. So nineteen hundred UTC, which they play tomorrow, which they can solidify their first. Their first place of group one tomorrow when they play against when they play against NG versus 508. 508. So that solidifies that side of that so this so this so group one has been solidified with Sick with Sick Tech and Cog being that number one spot that number one spot over Pro G because they won even if they lose even if they even if Sick Tech and Cog loses, uh they still have they still win the head to head against Prog G because they beat Prog they won against Prog G. So congratulations to Sig Tech and Cog and Prog G moving on to round two. But if we go into group two but if we go into group two Oops. Oops. Yep, okay. I'm gonna have to just do it from there because I accidentally messed up. Whatever. So we're gonna move on to group two. You got you got tactically adequate still at the top number one number one spot, but that three way tie for second place, which you got Fear Academy, TLR Gaming, and Guardians and Big Gucci Killers. Oh, it's gonna be a that's gonna be a that's gonna be a tough one, mostly due to the fact that if we if this thing would actually work out for me, which it doesn't want to at this moment in time. Uh, BGK has played all of their games already so bgk is praying is praying on a couple of different factors in order to move in go ahead and open all this up all right so fear cat so here's so here's the scenario that we kind of got right here when it comes to uh group two tactically adequate sorry solidify their first place their first place spot was winning winning pretty much every game 
Um, actually, Tally Adequate can actually. Huh. If I'm reading this, if I'm reading this correctly, which I hope I am. If Fear Academy beats Tackly Adequate, if Fear Academy actually beats Tackly Adequate, they can actually take the number one spot. It'll be four and one. Tackly Adequate loses. Oh man, this group two is going to be very confusing. I, I'm going to make sure I understood this correctly. So TA, so TA is going to be in the number one spot. TA can be in the number one spot. But they lose the Fear Academy. If they lose the Fear Academy, they'll be four, zero, and one. I believe they can drop down to sec possibly second place. But Fear Academy wins. They slit if Fear Academy wins, they solidify their spot in the top two in the top two, regardless, because TLR has also played all of their games. And Big BGK has also played all their games. So this Fear Academy versus Tally Yadoka game tomorrow tomorrow is set on sun tomorrow at 1 30 p.m. my time, which which will be 18 30 um UTC it's going to be a real key game because the defi it really defines what group 2 which group 2 is going to be like and then we can also see the bracket see how the brackets could possibly play out which i believe is going to be 1 versus 2 and uh 2 versus we yeah, have 1 versus 2 from both sides so we if you want to take, we could take a look at the brackets real quick you know there's only 4 teams are actually making as you know there's only 4 teams are actually making the finals um when it comes to the open when it comes to the open league so it could be one versus two or two and two versus one so we'll look at, we can be looking at tackle adequate versus prod g or fair academy versus prod g or we can be looking at sig tech versus prod g or sig tech versus uh sig tech and cog versus tackle adequate which regardless how i see both of the sides both of the games are gonna be looking good and superior but Thank you guys for coming out. Thank you guys for tuning in. Prog G, congratulations to moving on to the bracket play. So class for them. I'm gonna go ahead and give them a clap real quick. And then Unity, 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 great, good game. Way to try to way to tough it out. Way to tough it out. Thank you for playing in the SWC. Um. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for tuning for tuning in. It's your boy Two Speeder. Sign out, y'all. Till next. Till next time. Deuces. I'll see y'all later.